Welcome to Plan Swift and the Cordell tab combined with Estimator Platinum training. Once you've received your license details from Plan Swift, you can download Plan Swift from the email. Also required to set up an online account with an email and password. That same email and password is what's to activate Plan Swift and also the Cordell tab. So once you've received the Cordell tab via email, just save it on your local drive. And to import the tab, click on templates, go to import tab, just find the tab on your local drive and click the open. Once it's open you'll see a box that you can click OK to import the tab. It can take up to 25 minutes to load and will appear in the templates list. It's good practice to close and open Plan Swift. Click on the home button and you can choose the drop down and choose the Cordell tab. To read the Cordell tab a little bit better if you drag this down, also drag this down and it'll give you a better view. And you can also drag this down to view the plans and the takeoff amounts a lot better. Before we learn how to load construction plans into Plan Swift, you can also go to Estimator Platinum, go to the database page, go to Cordell Standard House Plans, and you can download the floor plan and the elevation. This can be used to load into Plan Swift and is a good learning tool. To load construction plans or a new project into Plan Swift, just click on the new icon. Fill in a job name, quote number or job number, add a description. Just ensure to keep it set on metric and not change it to English which will be imperial sizes. So once you've added job number or name in, just keep clicking the next. Find the folder where your plans are located. Just ensure that you tick the box and keep clicking next. This will convert all the files and they will show on the left hand side ready for scaling. The plan will split each page as you can see here and to scale the page certainly if you've got a auto scale let's say for example 1 is to 100 let's choose the drop down for the scaling choose the 1 is to 100 this has auto scaled the page we can also check the dimensions by using the dimension tool here we can use the mouse to zoom in on the sizing. We can also hold the M on the keyboard to help zoom in. Use the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out and also use these slide bars to move across the vertical and the horizontal. You can see we've checked our sizing. And to record this, click on the record digital recorder. To manually scale a construction plan or image, what you can do is click on the little ruler icon on the scale, type in the sizing that you require, make sure it's kept to meters, the Cordell tab is in meters. Say the height of the ceiling is 2.7, we can click at the start, also using the M on the keyboard. Then choose a horizontal sizing. Let's say the doorway is 6 meters wide. Click at the start. Click at the finish. And now the page is scaled. Just some further information with the dimension tool. If you don't have a sizing on the plan, the dimension tool can be great to get sizings. So for example, we want to know the size of this kitchen bench here. We can utilize the dimension tool. To remove the sizings that are on the page, if you go up to view and click on hide dimensions, alternately even click on them and delete them. To draw quantities off the plan with the Cordell tab, just click on the plus button. A good place to start to find the total square meters for different floor areas is in total floor areas here. As you can see the icon is in green. That means the icons that are related to the four main takeoffs, say square meters, or lineal for things like external walls, or segment count lineal for internal walls, and dot count for recording how many of items. To draw the total square meters, click on the green icon, floor area. You can change the name if required, and then click on the OK to go into record mode. It's highlighted in blue to show it's in record mode. To disconnect if you've chosen the wrong item just click down in the box down in here. 
You can use the wheel on the mouse to scroll in and out and also the slide bars. Let's start to record. Pick your starting point. You can also use the M on the keyboard to magnify closer. Then continue to draw around the plan. Once you've finished recording, right click, click on the stop or also the red digital recorder icon up here. Once you've finished recording, you can see the total square meters appears on the left hand side here. You can also collapse the Cordell tab if you've got it open on the right hand side, so this is purely for recording. Click on the minus, this collapses everything. Over in the templates page, this is where the Cordell tab is stored. You can create your own tabs by clicking on new tab and copy paste items to make a targeted tab similar to making templates. Just a quick overview for the quantity takeoff in the Cordell tab. The best place to start is in the elemental for things like the total square meter, roof pitch, external walls, lineal meter, continuous lineal meter and also the square meter. Internal walls, segment count for lineal so this will click from internal wall to internal wall and continuously calculate the lineal meter and also the square meter of the wall. Also for things like kitchen, square meter and show what items are within the estimated platinum for the size bands. Another place to start is either using detailed or multiple quantities. In detailed you can use things like remove and dispose and change the name for any item that's required for estimated platinum. You can also use things like detailed concrete and reinforcement, excavation including singular formula takeoffs. In the multiple quantities you have things like raft slab, you can do the square meter, sand per cubic, this is great for ordering or for detailed estimating, right through to concrete including wastage for ordering or for also detailed estimating, right through to the bar chairs and reinforcement. Some other items for walls, you can do external walls, internal walls, in one lineal meter, you can do, say for example, brick veneer, right through to how many studs, even right through to bricks per thousand or blocks per thousand for detailed estimating or ordering. In the building M2, this is for gaining quantities for the housing M2 database and estimated platinum, the total square meters, and also creating a checklist for all the extras that's required to get a feasibility for a house. In the commercial M2, this is the total square meters for creating a feasibility and also the targeted square meters for car parks, landscaping and external works, how the commercial M2 database is structured in Estimator Platinum. Way to speed up your workflow is have two screens, PlanSwift on one screen to pull apart the scope of the plans and images, on the other screen Estimator Platinum for doing estimating and pricing. You can simply just type in the quantity here on the estimate page in the quantity cell. But also this quantity does appear on the estimating page here. You can right click to remove any cells that you don't require. On the home page, you can send to data by clicking on the quantity cell. Choose the quantity and send to cell. It will land on the estimate page. What we will be covering is also on the estimating page here to export to Excel and using the sort code in the description for doing fast quantity takeoffs. So let's do some more quantity takeoffs. If you do want to turn the colors off the page to isolate doing different quantities, turn off the light bulb here. To open the Cordell tab, let's continue to work from elements. We've got the total square meter. Let's work on external walls through from lineal meter and square meter. So we'll click on the green icon. You can change the name, click OK to go live. Click on the start point. Continue around the plan. And right click and stop. Another way to do square meters off the wall from the elevation. If we go to external walls here. You can change the name of the brick or a different cladding if required. Click on the OK. Click around the corners of the plan. Right click and stop. 
right click in the colored area and go subtract from box if you go subtract from point we can remove the doors and windows from point to point or subtract from box is a lot quicker zoom in on the plan make sure you don't click outside the color and remove the doors and windows once you've finished click on the stop and the quantity amount will appear on the left hand side you can type into estimated platinum or send to sell internal walls we can go to elements we can also use the multiple quantity takeoffs but let's utilize the elements for doing lineal meter and the square meter go green all you need to do is click from start point to start point and draw all the internal walls once you've completed all the walls you can type in your quantity and estimate a platinum be required to keep adding to the sizes you can right click and go to new section and then continue on doing say internal walls and if you do require to use the undo just be mindful not to click it too many times because you don't want to undo too many items but you can undo your items and that can be handy to continue quantities another way to continue doing the quantity takeoff Highlight on the line item, click on the green and go into record mode. Make sure the snap and the ortho is turned on. This can help snap the line. It snaps to the point. Makes your quantity take off a lot easier. Different specific door and window sizes. You can also do it on the window and door schedule as well, not just the plan. Let's go to multiple quantities. Go to windows and doors. Find the window sizing that's required. Let's say 15 by 12s. You can add the exact product name in here as well. Click on the windows. On the estimating page, you can expand all as well or click on the plus button of individual items. The fit architrave, this is going to be great for detail estimating and also the supply window architrave for quantity ordering and also is contained the lintel as well. Once you have all your items on the estimating page here for the quantity takeoff, you can see they all contain the sort code. You could also be building a building feasibility model for estimated platinum, elemental estimating or detail estimating with your items. To export to Excel, just click on export to Excel. Here's an example of a complete takeoff exported to Excel with the sort codes. You can copy paste the sort codes into the description in PlanSwift for complex items. User sort codes, click in the column, click on sort filter A to Z, and it'll sort all the items separately. You can also create pages similar to estimated platinum categories for items as well. Let's say windows and doors, using the sort code, it groups all the architraves together. You can also copy these. Paste them in the multiple quantity calculator. Calculates them completely together. Copy paste the quantity and paste into the quantity cell in Estimator Platinum. Once you've gamed your basic elements off the plan, you can also work from creating work area headings from main rooms in elements and also in detailed. When you're starting to do your site prelims, you can see site toilets in here right through to temporary fencing and create those items as you're building your detailed estimate. Here's an example of a takeoff with the site prelims, site toilet, right through to the roofing remove and the items for remove and dispose, roof sheets. Another handy function to know is, let's say site toilet, click on the green and go live, click on the advanced, in the quantity formula line here, click against the takeoff, Click on Shift 8. The asterisk is a times. Let's say we're hiring the toilet for say 18 weeks. Type in 18. Click OK to save. Click on the plan once. Right click and stop. And that item is on the estimate page. That shows a total weeks per number. Just a quick window into the quantity calculation formulas. 
So studs per number here. Let's right click, go to properties, advanced. In here you have the total lineal divided by the stud spacings times the stud height contained down here. For more detailed training, you can contact via the email when you receive the Cordell tab or contact support. Fill in the details and one of our support trainers will be in contact to organise an online meeting. Thank you for taking the time to learn PlanSwift and the Cordell tab combined with Estimator Platinum for adding quantities to your estimate page. <laughs>